Hello guys, I want to talk with you today about Ohio Bill 441. This is an anti-censorship bill aimed at big tech and it's uh, been it's been passed by the uh, the Civil Justice Committee uh, of Ohio and that's within that's in the Ohio House uh, eight to four. And so this bill has already been gaining some controversy uh, there, and there are similar bills like it being introduced across the country. Uh, many of which have been slapped down by federal judges. Uh, similar states and and uh, similar states have pa tried to pass bills uh, which have been blocked by federal judges. So it's a, we don't know if it's going to be like that for Ohio, but Ohio Bill 441 to give you a little look. Uh, so the bill declares social media companies as common carriers. Uh, common carriers, which essentially means that they are a distributor of of content they're not the content providers so it's important to distinct to draw a distinction between a content creator and a content provider they're a distribution network they're a public square uh, and that term will become come into importance in a moment so this this uh, so these 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 social media companies don't receive the same speech protections as publishers and newspapers do uh, because they're not they don't uh, they're not responsible for the con. I mean, the idea is that they're not responsible for the content that they're not creating, that they're not publishing this content, they're not standing by or defending the content, that they're simply distributing it, that they're keeping the public square open. They're basically owners of the public square. Uh, so, so the bill doesn't equip states with the power to enforce the law uh, uh, against these censorship companies, but what the bill does allow is for individual Ohioans to file uh, civil civil suits against social media companies. Now, these social media companies they refer to have to have more than 50 million uh, U.S. users. So, the big ones we're talking Twitter, Facebook, uh, uh, YouTube, um, Instagram, places like that where they have 50 million U.S. users. Uh, so, and these companies, if they if they block, remove, or otherwise restrict uh, any Ohio in, or you know individual of Ohio, of Ohio from uh, from their site, then these Ohioans under this Bill 441 will be given recourse, legal recourse against these social media companies, these large social media companies who operate uh, across the world, but mainly in the U.S. So this bill, I I believe I think it's a good I think it's a good bill. I think it's in the right step. Uh, I think it's. It's 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 a sign that the, the the state is realizing that they shouldn't be the ones with that authority to 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 uh, to file those suits themselves. That the state is not going to be filing the suits, but the state is going to allow individuals of Ohio to file their own suits, maybe even a class action suit. So I like it for that. Uh, so the bill has been uh, opposed by the ACLU. And uh, who the ACLU believes that it gives the state too much power, but I disagree because the power really lies in the individual Ohioan and the uh, power, the legal recourse that they're given based on this bill. Uh, and so, and, and so, yeah, to distinguish these companies as common carriers, I think is an important thing rather than content providers, such as a uh, newspaper public publication. So. Adam Adam Kendoy, uh, he's a he's a Michigan State law Michigan State law professor. He testified in support of the bill. He had some interesting things to say. Uh, Adam said that social media forms the modern public square. He equates the he equates social media today as the modern public square. He said he calls social media companies uh, political actors who censor and silence. Uh, those with whom they disagree and I would agree with him on that that these social media companies they claim to be open spaces for everyone to communicate but they really do have an, a, a, an agenda it's a clear agenda that they're trying to push uh, whether it's I mean whether it's YouTube constantly pushing like diversity and LGBT weeks and things like that uh, pushing LGBT content creators and, and, and such or I'm sure that they do things like that in, on other platforms. I'm mostly familiar with YouTube. Uh, never really used Twitter myself. I was always against it. But um, 
so this this Adam uh, Adam Kendoib, he was appointed by Donald Trump to the Department of Justice senior telecommunications position. So he has some authority to speak on this matter, and he he calls these social media companies political actors who want to censor and silence who they disagree with within this public square, the public square which they own. He uses that word public square. He doesn't mince. He doesn't mince words there. The public square is what these social media companies have become, where you can't really have a voice without them, it seems. People don't communicate in person as much as they used to, unfortunately. So it's it's important to distinguish the difference between a content creator and a content carrier, a content provider, so to speak, and uh, to, to distinguish between a publication and a provider. Uh, distribution, publication and distribution. Those things need to be understood as separate. So this bill, I think, does a decent job of doing that, and I think it's a good step. Uh, this bill is, is similar bills like this are being introduced all over the country in primarily red states, uh, but many of them are being blocked by federal judges. So it's unclear what success this bill will have, if any of them do. We're in a state right now where the bill passed in, in the Ohio House. Uh, it's unclear what the next step is. Uh, whether it goes to the Senate or or what, uh, so I'm going to keep a look at this. I'm a, I'm a fellow Ohioan. I care about Ohio politics, and and so, uh, I mean, I care about global politics, but especially my home state. I I want to keep an eye on this, and I'll keep you guys informed on where this bill progresses. This uh, Ohio Bill 441. So uh, thank you guys.